Hey guys, welcome back to While You Were Cleaning. I am super excited to share today's video with you. I've been wanting to put together some different little wooden planters for a little while now, and I was able to come up with five different designs to share with you in today's video. I made these planters using the wooden Jenga or tumbling tower game blocks that you can find at Dollar Tree. I did use only one box of those, one of the larger boxes that I found around Christmas time. If you don't have one of those, you might need two of the smaller boxes. We'll start right in on today's DIYs and I hope you enjoy this video. These are those blocks that I ended up using. I used hot glue for all of my projects today. You could use some wood glue if you want these to hold together a little bit longer, but I needed to put them together quickly. So first off, I glued two blocks together and did four sets of those. And then we're going to glue them together in this square shape. So you kind of have to stagger the edges to make sure that it's a square instead of a rectangle. And you can see how I'm doing that here. On the last one here, it doesn't line up perfectly on that top corner, but it's really easy to move this around when the hot glue is still a little bit pliable, so you can still kind of adjust it a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and repeat those steps to put together another square. So you'll glue two blocks together until you get four sets of those, and then glue them together again in the square pattern. Next, we'll go ahead and glue four sets of two blocks together again. So these are going to be some side posts to our planter. I think all of today's projects are very simple to follow along with. So just watching the video, you can see how simple they are. And a lot of today's planter DIYs use very similar steps to put them together. Next, I want to add those posts onto the four corners of the square that I created. So just do them straight across from each other on each of the corners. Just have your blocks lying the same direction, but really if you accidentally put them another direction, it's not going to mess up the outcome very much of this planter DIY. Once the glue is dry on those side posts, you can go ahead and add glue to the top of those posts, and then we will add the top square in place. And you do have to kind of adjust those posts. You might have to re-glue a little bit to make sure that they're straight. But here's how that first one turned out. I love this one. I had an idea of what I wanted from a picture that I saw, and it really turned out very similar to what I was going for. And of course, with any of today's DIYs, you could paint or stain the wood on them. For the next one, you'll need to make a triangle shape with your blocks. So I just added glue to the inner corners and you can see the inside of this makes a true triangle shape, but then the outside has kind of these divots on each of the corners. So I didn't want a bunch of glue sticking out there, so I just added it right to the inside and that secured it just fine. And then you can go along those outside corners and I'm just going to glue a block onto those about halfway down, maybe a little bit less than halfway down so it's sticking up on the top and the bottom and then you'll just have to measure so that you make sure that you add these on at the same height because you don't want one of the legs to be longer than the other so I just kind of leveled it on the table there. This one is very simple to put together and I think it might be my favorite of all of the little plant holders that I put together for today's video. Make sure you let me know in the comments after you've seen all of the different planters, let me know which of them was your favorite. You could make this planter larger as well by gluing two blocks together and doing different sets of two blocks like we did with the first planter, but here you can see how it turned out. It does hold the base of one of the larger clay pots that they have at Dollar Tree. For the next one, we're making this star or X shape. You can see how it has the open square there in the center. And then I just added little dots of glue to hold this together. And then for the legs of this planter, you'll again glue sets of two blocks together and you'll need four sets, one for each of the four legs. 
Next, we'll glue the legs onto the center. So I added the hot glue right above that seam there so that I could line up the blocks for the center to that seam so I didn't have to measure or anything. And that just makes sure that it's all level and all of the legs are the same length. Just make sure that you add the glue and put the leg on the same on all four of the legs and you don't swap one around the other way because then one of your legs would be longer. I was surprised at how simple it was to work with these tumbling tower blocks and how easy it was to put all of these planter DIYs together. Also, on this planter, I decided to put a candle on there instead of a plant, and this is a very heavy candle. The outside of this is made of cement, so it held it up just fine. Now, I don't know that I would leave the room and trust it to hold, but if you did wood glue, I would definitely trust it a little bit better than the hot glue. For the next holder, we're going to make another square shape. So you will glue four sets of two blocks together, and then we're going to glue them together so that they form a square, just like we did the squares in the very first planter DIY. So here you can see how I'm gluing those together. Next, I'm going to take some twine and fold it over once, and then I just made my twine about twice as long as the wood pieces were, so you can just make it whatever length you want. This one is going to be hanging, so it just depends on how long you want it to hang. So I did do four pieces of twine that were all the same length and cut them to that same length. And then with them folded over, I did tie them around each corner of this planter. So I stuck the open ends through the loop of the folded end, if that makes sense. I will show it to you here a few times. But you can see here how it's held together. I didn't tie it onto the corners. I just kind of looped it through so that you can see the twine there on the corners. So I think that's pretty simple to follow. If you have any questions about it, you can let me know down in the comments. And then I grabbed the groups of strings on opposite corners and pulled those up to the center and then knotted them just once. I did the two different groups instead of doing them all together because the knot was kind of big when I did them all together. So I just did it separately and then you can hang them that way. Here I'm holding it and trying to film at the same time because I didn't have anything good to hang this on in order to film. But here you can see how it looks. This is a little planter pot that I got at Dollar General. And again here I am going to hot glue four sets of two blocks together for this last planter DIY today. And then we'll be putting together two more of that star or that X shape. So you add the glue just a little bit on the corners. It leaves that open square in the center there. And they just kind of overlap so that they all stick out from that center equally. And then to the outside of each of these points, I'm going to add some hot glue and then add one of those sets of two blocks to each of them. And then just continue adding those until you are finished adding one to each of the four points. And then at the top, we'll go ahead and add some hot glue to the top of each of those as well so that we can add on the top piece. And this should all line up. Sometimes when the hot glue at the bottom, there's a little bit extra and it dries a little bit crooked, then they won't line up perfectly. But if you just kind of break that seal a little bit, you can adjust everything into place. I wanted to add one of those smaller Dollar Tree pots to the center of this and it wasn't actually big enough between the two posts in order to put it in place so I just had to break that top piece and then just hot glued it back into place. And then I cut two equal pieces of twine and I stuck the loops of those right up through that center hole there on the top of my plant holder and then I just kind of looped the twine around so that it held in place around the center of the top there, tied a knot at the top to hold it all in place, added some flowers, and here's how that last planter turned out. 
I hope that you have enjoyed all of these fun little DIYs today. Also, I do suggest using some wood glue if you want these to last for a good amount of time, but I did have to put them together quickly for the video. So thank you all so much for watching today's video and for joining me. Make sure to let me know down in the comments which of these planters was your favorite, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye!